Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's a lovely day again, and I'm so delighted to be with you again, viewers. My name is Bomi Adekola, and I'm a pastor with the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Christ Love Assembly, Decord in Oxfordshire. It's a pleasure presenting the Open Heavens devotional written by our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Adeboye. Our topic of consideration today is growing by the Spirit. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Acts chapter 4, the first four verses. And I read, Now, as they spoke to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them, being greatly disturbed that they taught the people and preached in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. However, many of those who had the word believed, and the number of the men came to be about 5,000. And our memory verse is Acts chapter 2, verse 41. Then those who got gladly received the word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added unto them. Our reflections together now. Do you know that artificial growth may look good on the outside, but can be dangerous? Think about fruits and vegetables. From the moment a seed is planted in the ground, it is subject to dozens of synthetic additives to enhance growth and to kill pests and weeds, chemical-based fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides are pumped into crop cropping land to the point soil microbes, earthworms, and other insects and animals are driven out of the soil, presenting, preventing the natural circle of organic matter breakdown, which becomes a normal feed source for plants. This means that they are losing their nutrients. In 2004, Donald Davies, PhD, a former researcher, with the Biochemical Institute at the University of Texas, Austin, led a team that analyzed 23 fruits and vegetables from 1950 to 1999 and reported reductions in vitamins, minerals, and protein. He found that broccoli, for example, had 130 milligrams of calcium in 1950. But today, that number is only 48 milligrams. What a great massive reduction. We can relate this trend to the growth of your spiritual life, ministry, or church. If it grows artificially without the help of the Holy Spirit, the growth will not be spiritually nutritious and lasting. Some like, some like quick fixes by using gimmicks, but only what God has ordained will stand. You must take time to meditate on the Word and get the richness from it instead of only relying on second-hand information from your spiritual leader. What we learn from leaders should be in addition to and confirmation of what we are learning ourselves. Even when listening to sermons, we should not be passive, but listening out for what the Holy Spirit is saying. God has an individual message for you, even in the midst of a congregation of people. According to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, which says, like newborn babes, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into full experience of salvation. That is why we need to cry out for this nourishment. Our action point. You cannot truly grow the church of God except by the Spirit of God. So we need to ask for a greater outpouring of God's Spirit upon His church worldwide. Even upon the servants of God, we need to pray for servants of God. Can we do that together now? Let us just lift up, lift up your pastor, the man of God, the woman of God who is in charge of your local assembly, that he will rely, she will rely only on the help of the Holy Spirit. Because it's not by might, it's not by power, it is by the Spirit of the living God. So that the growth of the church of God will be lasting so that the blessings that the people of God receive through you will be lasting. It shall be well with you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. See you very soon. God bless you. Have a lovely, lovely day. And bye. God bless you.